Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. We'll go out here. And... Okay, let's see if we can push this guy to land. I guess we should make sure there's no mobs on the land. Wouldn't that be something? I push him right into a zombie. I don't think he would be impressed. I love that tree. Okay, let's go. You're getting waterlogged out here. Wow, he's awfully quiet. I know the sound is turned on. I heard the door open and close. He's actually going pretty good, I think. I want you over this direction. Come on. Okay, I'll just speed this part up, so just hang tight. Okay, there he is. Now, what we will do is we will come over here. I actually have a gate here, but I don't know if he's going to go through it. We will... Oh, hopefully at night time he'll go towards the door. If that's the case, I might stand here and open the door for him. I should get some fences. Yeah, I brought one of your friends, so... What do you got? Nothing. I got nothing. Actually, but he will have redstone and lapis at some point so I'm hoping at night he will just want to go through that door and like I say if he wants to he can jump on here and go over the fence to get to it but that is how everything's going let's see find the mob spawner explore the caves under the ocean oh pardon me it's not a ravine it's a cave I don't know, it kind of look like a ravine. Where is it? I think it's... I guess because that other one that's... Let's see, we went down there and then across here a bit. It could technically be matched up with that or linked to it, but we'll have to wait and see. So I decided to do... Oops, do a little fishing. I um, haven't made the mod spawner yet. And I just thought I'd do some stuff around the yard here. And I'm doing a little fishing. As you can see, my fishing rod's about halfway done. And I don't know if he's still there or not. That guy's standing there. He's just watching the whole time. It's, it's, ooh, it's really freaky. There's two of them. I don't know what they're doing. They're making me real nervous. I'm just going to come over here a little bit. I don't know why they're there, but... I don't know if you just saw what I saw, but I think I just saw an enchanted fishing rod. Oop, what was that? I think I dropped something. Okay, I'm going to show you what I've got. Oh, there he goes. Okay, this is what we've caught. Oh, yeah. Oh, lure and unbreaking. If that had mending on it, I would be loving it. Okay, this is what we've caught. We've caught leather, clownfish, pufferfish, raw salmon, rotten flesh, a water bottle. Uh, we didn't catch that. I actually went in and we had a lot of cows over there. I got rid of a bunch. But we caught that fishing rod. Five raw fish, a name tag. And up here, is it nighttime yet? No, it's just ba barely after lunch. Here, have a look at this. We did catch some other fish. Whoops. And I put them in here. We got 16 fish, and I cooked them up, all ready to go. Because what I was thinking I would do is I want to go down in that ravine or that cave system or something. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on down there. But you can see our farm's coming along nicely. Uh, we've got two rows of, of melons here because we could, we can, uh, these guys are doing a lot of watching. 
They're really weird. But uh, yeah, we can do trading with the melons and the wheat with the farmer. He will take, I think it's 16 wheat he will take. Do I have any? 13. Let's just do a little experimente. Okay. Oh, and I'll show you what else I was doing. So let's just move this aside for now. I always get the wheat first. Where'd the seeds go? Oh, uh, well. Okay. I like to replant as I go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a, it's either 13 or 16, so either way we've got enough. Okay, let's go do a level, oh, he just went inside. Oh, <laughs> as you can tell, I did get that cartographer inside. What a, what a job that was, let me tell you. I put a couple blocks of dirt out here and one over here. And he jumped up on it, but he didn't have enough room to clear the fence and the the uh, the tree up there. So I knocked out a couple branches. I've since replaced them. And he went in. So I took away the dirt. And as I'm coming over here, I took away this dirt. And as I get to the end, I notice that uh, the farmer was out. So he was in, the farmer was out. What had happened is the pumpkin, or the watermelon had grown, and it was sitting right here. So they jumped up on the watermelon right over the fence. So before I knew it, I had the farmer and the cleric out, and the cartographer in. So I had the exact opposite of what I wanted. That's what I thought I just saw. Where did he come from? <coughs> It's not even night. Where did he come from? Well, that was weird. Okay, let's go see this guy real quick. Okay, oh, 21. Holy cow. See, we don't have any potatoes or carrots. And eventually, once we do a level 1 trade, we'll be able to get uh, emeralds if we trade water or jack-o'-lanterns, and we can get pie, pumpkin pie, but we're going to have to do a level one trade first, because after that we can give him an emerald and he'll give us uh, the pie, and then we can go up to the level two where we could start trading the watermelons with him. But, let's see, what's the plan for today? Well, it's going to be to sleep right away. Where did that zombie come from? Man, there's some weird things going on here. Let me tell you, 20. Oh, and I caught a name tag. Did I tell you that? Not sure what I'm going to name, but I got one. Oh, if this would have... If that would have had mending on it, it would have repaired itself while I was fishing. That is so cool. Okay, well, I'm just going to sleep. Then I'm going to go get... Is there more down there? Let's have a look. I want to do at least one trade with these guys. Then we're going to go down. We're going to get it all geared up. And we're going to go down and see about getting that ravine going. Hmm. These guys will come and take that eventually, so I don't have to do it. Gives them something to do. Keeps them out of trouble a little bit. Okay, so we have... Eventually, we could make a really big farm, and we could really... If you remember the last series, we did the Flatland series. We, had, we got over a hundred... Uh, emeralds from one farmer. But mind you, we had a lot of... Ooh, what a deal. We had a lot of potatoes and things that we could trade. So, let's see. So, if we go... Boink, boink, boink. See, this is the level 2 now. We've got the pumpkin and the pie. So, we'll give him that. He'll give us the pie. And then, he'll... Say, yeah, I'm ready for more. So, these are level two. And now, level three. We can give them watermelons for emeralds. And what's after this? Let's see, I have a chart here. Uh, after this, we can just get cookies and cake. Don't really need that or want that, but... Do I need watermelons? No, I can't even remember what how many watermelons you need. No, no, come back here. He's going to do a little harvesting. Let's see. Hello. I have such a bad memory. Eight. Nice. 
Okay, so we've unlocked a bunch of trades, so we can trade wheat and melons with this guy, and we're good. This guy, we can do paper. I don't have any paper on me, but we can do a lot of that. So we might end up doing that, because we can get a compass from him as well, not that we need it. Oh yeah, and have a look at the front of the ship. I've kind of evened it out a bit. Uh, fall in the water. Still got to get rid of some of those vines, but I've just kind of patched all those holes and everything. I still have to finish off the railing on the deck and everything. But I extended the bow out a little bit. I think that's called the bow. I'm not a ship guy, so I don't know. But I'm anyway, I'm going to get ready. Probably chop all this down. And then lighten my load, and we are going to go down underneath. I don't think I'm going to get any... Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any leather armor, even though it wouldn't hurt. What do I want to put in here? I'll put those in. Because... Uh, there was a bunch of iron down there. I think we can get that. and We'll just finish off our iron armor, make an iron sword. I've got four blocks of iron back in the house. Oh, I thought there was one down there. So we'll do that. Get, let me get geared up. Maybe get rid of all these melons. And then we're going to go down below. Where did that zombie come from? That's the weirdest thing. Okay, just give me a second and I'll be right with you. Okay, guys, I'm ready to go down. Who's with me? Nobody? Oh, you want to come? Nice. Well, tell you what, you stay up here, guard the sheep, tend to your farm, and I will be back. So we are heading down. Let's see what I've got here. I did make myself an iron sword. Uh, I've got lots of torches, a little bit of coal. I'll have to find more down there. I did make myself a bow, just in case we run into a couple skeletons down there who are willing to give up some of the arrows they have. And based on that, we are heading down. So I'm going to meet you down at the bottom, and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so here we are down here. We can't pick that up. We'll pick this. Um, ooh, there's a lot more here than I thought. Okay, so we're just going to start down here. I have brought a furnace and a crafting bench, and we'll take those with us. You never know what we'll run into. Wow, there's a lot of iron down here. Or, I mean, a lot of coal. So we're just going to see how big this ravine is, or this part of the ravine. I don't, I'm kind of leery. I don't know if this is part of the main one we're supposed to discover, or the main one we, we saw down through that... Uh, oh yeah, it's a long way up. Uh, that we see through the ocean. I got... Yeah, I don't think we'll run into much wood down here. But let's go see if that creeper's still there. I hear zombies. Oh, there's iron there. Probably should have made myself a shield. I really don't like those. I like to be able to place torches as we go. Ah, uh, I bet this is the main part we always see. So let's see, are we fairly safe here? Oh, what's that? I wonder if that's lava up there. Let's see, I don't think anything come up from us come up to us from behind. Let's get that piece of iron. Because we do want to make some oh nice. We do want to make some more armor. All we've got is a chest plate right now. This is unfortunately gonna take a long time because I'm a very cautious explorer. I don't like dying. So I don't like to just rush into places. Okay, Ooh. how did I miss this? Well, I missed it because I didn't see it. I guess that's the simple answer. I hear lava really close though.
Oh, well, let's see, what level are we on? We are on, ooh, level 17, near diamond level. Okay, let's throw down this thing. We've got 15 iron. It's more than enough to finish off our our uh, armor. So, I don't think anything can really get us. Let's see what's over here while that's all going. See, we could go up there. I really have to clean my screen. I keep seeing things and I'm... And a re Ooh, wow, there's all sorts of places to explore over here. Let's just do this. Oh, look at that. It lit it up over there. Okay, let's go back here for a moment. i got to remember to keep looking up. Whoops. Nice. You know what that'll make. Whoops. That'll make... Pants. All right. So we need nine more. Do we have nine? Ooh, just nine. Uh, what else? So let's go get this pie these pieces over here. See what's up here. Now, if we come, we have to come running back here. We're gonna make better make sure we don't fall. Ooh, I hear a zombie. I wish I could see all the way up there, but I can't. Ooh, gotta make sure. Okay, so this is relatively safe. No use wasting torches. Let's just see. No, that's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Let's go get the rest of our... Uh, Eight. So what do we need? We need boots. We don't need that. And we need one more to make a helmet. I was going to say, and we're golden, but not technically golden, but we are fairly protected. There's what we should be looking at. Do we have that yet? Nice, we got three extra. Okay, we'll throw those up there. We'll grab this. We'll grab this. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, now where are we going to go up here? We don't have to explore the whole thing, but we do have to explore part of this. Make sure we don't get shot by anybody. Hmm. Yeah, see that would lead us... Oh, there's my base up there. You can see it, that square edge. Let's go this way. Just got to make sure nobody shoots me from the other side. I'm going to put torches up as high as we can. And kind of low. Because hmm. I can't see what's going on over there. daylight up there. Oh, what do we have over here? I just have this fear of being shot from the other side. Uh, that and falling in lava. I could block it or pour my bucket down there, but I don't really... I like the light. Hello? I, sh I really got to make myself an iron pickaxe. Hmm. 
can I say I like lots of room more iron oh, ooh, ooh. that doesn't look good make sure I don't fall off just want to protect myself a little I wonder if we're at the end over here. We're just going to do this. Let's see. We'll just put one there. So nobody can sneak up from behind. Mind you, that'll also stop us from being able to run away. Run away, but... That's uh, okay. I'll take that chance right now. I'm surprised there's no mobs or anything down here. Okay, I think we're just gonna, let's see, what do I want to do? What was I going to do? Oh, make an iron pickaxe. So I need to, oh, not that. 